Welcome to FarmGrow. In this video we will see the various qualification tests that needs to be done for autoclave and its procedure along with the acceptance criteria. As we know autoclave works by using heat and pressure to kill the microorganisms such as bacteria and spores. It becomes a very crucial or very important equipment for sterilization processes. Please subscribe to the channel for more informative videos on pharmaceutical industry. Let's start with the presentation. In this presentation we will go through the few prerequisites for the operational qualification tests and then operational qualification tests such as bovidic test, air leakage test, air detector test, sound power test, steam quality test, thermometric test and the microbiological tests. There are few pre-checks or the prerequisites for operational qualification tests. These are the sterilizer has been provided and installed properly. The sterilizer is safe to work. The sterilizer does not interfere with adjacent equipment and all connected services are suitable for the office. First we will see bovidic test. The purpose of bovidic test is to get assured for successful air removal from the sterilizers. A successful bovidic test shows rapid and even penetration of steam into the test pack. This test is done to check retention of air within the pack due to an inefficient air removal stage, the presence of an air leak during the air removal stage and the presence of non-condensable gases in the steam supply. Now we will see the procedure for bovidic test. Standard test packs are used for bovidic test. Thermochromatic ink is used for the bovidic indicator and this thermochromatic ink is a type of a dye that changes the color when they are exposed to the temperature. In this test, the sterilization cycle is carried out with the empty chamber and without any extended drying time. After removing the wrapping, the standard test packs are kept in a chamber. The acceptance criteria for bovidic test is that after end of the sterilization cycle, examine the indicator for compliance with the requirements fed that is even or throughout color change of the indicator shall be observed after bovidic test. Next qualification test is air leakage test. Autoclave chambers are essentially be free from the leaks. So air leakage test is done to find out the any leakages from the chamber. Air leakage test is used to establish that the quantity of air leakage into the sterilizer chamber during the period of vacuum does not exceed the level. Air leakages will obstruct the penetration of steam into the sterilizer load and the presence of the air leakages will pose a potential risk of recontamination of sterilizer load during the drying. Procedure for air leakage test. Test pressure gauges shall be used to check pressure indicating and recording instrument. In this test, we need to stabilize the temperature of sterilizer chamber with sterilization cycle with the sterilizer chamber empty. When the pressure in the sterilizer chamber is 70 millibar absolute or 7 kilopascal or below, close all the walls connected to the sterilizer chamber and stop the vacuum pump. Observe and record the time and the absolute pressure. Wait for at least 300 plus or minus 10 seconds to allow evaporation of condensation in the chamber and then observe and record the absolute pressure in the sterilizer chamber and the time. After a further 600 plus or minus 10 seconds, again observe and record the absolute pressure and the time. Acceptance criteria for air leakage test. If the chamber is leaked, then the pressure inside will go on rising. So the acceptance criteria for air leakage test is the rate of pressure rise shall be not greater than 1.5 millibar per minute or 0.13 kilopascal per minute. Next test is air detector test. The purpose of air detector test. An air detector can be fitted to a sterilizer and used to determine whether the non-condensable gases contained in the steam delivered to the sterilizer and the air remaining after the air removal stage of the sterilization cycle are sufficient to cause the sterilization process. Procedure for air detector test. To perform air detector test, connect the metering device to a sterilizer chamber using valve port provided by the manufacturer. Prior to 
start air detector test ensure that bovidic test and the air leakage test are passed for the sterilizer this test is need to be carried out with the empty sterilizer chamber and the regular sterilization cycle shall be carried out acceptance criteria for the air detector test is that the probe located in the center of the load must not be depressed by more than 2 degrees celsius once the drain achieves the sterilization conditions Next qualification test is sound power test. The purpose of sound power test is to ensure compliance with the requirement of peak sound power produced by a sterilizer and to ensure that the level of weighted sound power is known and obtainable. National legislation controls the supposed noise or the sound pressure in the working environment. To perform sound power test, locate the microphones in the identified locations then determine the environment correction factor k and with the sterilizer containing the test load perform the test ensure that the pressure and the flow from the steam and the water services are set to the levels which cause the maximum noise and are within the range specified for the sterilizer acceptance criteria for the sound power test is the peak volume or the sound level generated by the autoclave is should not be more than 70 db no maximum value of a weighted sound power level exceed a mean weighted sound power level by more than a 15 db next qualification test is steam quality test steam quality test is performed to ensure the quality of steam that is provided to the sterilizer is as per the acceptance criteria in this test we check the non condensable gases superheat and dryness of the steam provided to the sterilizer acceptance criteria for the steam quality tests are non condensable gases shall not be more than the 3.5 percent dryness shall be greater than or equal to 0.90 or greater than uh, or equal to 0.95 for metal loads and superheat test passes if the superheat measured in the expansion tube does not exceed 25 degrees celsius next qualification test is thermometric test the purpose of thermometric test is to demonstrate that after the air removal stage of the sterilization cycle, sterilizing environment are obtained within the sterilizer chamber and the standard test pack. Procedure for thermometric test as per the previous technical report number 1 minimum 10 thermocouples or 5 thermocouples per 100 cubic feet shall be used, whereas as per the HTM 2010 now known as EN285, 12 thermocouples and more than one pressure sensor shall be used during validation cycle. Introduce the temperature sensors into the sterilizer chamber through the temperature sensor entry connection and fitting. Place one of the temperature sensor either in the active drain to a depth of at least 10 mm or at a reference measurement point carry out the sterilization cycle with the sterilizer chamber empty acceptance criteria for thermometric test it is essential to achieve 121 degrees celsius for each thermocouple for predefined time period of 15 minutes the difference between the temperature and thermocouple should not be more than the 3 degrees celsius that is all the thermocouple must have temperature between 121 degrees celsius to 124 degrees celsius during the entire sterilization cycle next important qualification test is microbiological test this test is done to get the sterility assurance for sterilization processes done by the autoclaves spore testing provides a reliable method for sterility assurance bacillus stevothermophilus spores are most commonly used due to their resistance to heat for the testing that measures the biological performance of the autoclave processes. Procedure for microbiological test. It is recommended that at least two spore ampules of bacillus stereothermophilus are used per cycle. Place the spore ampules in a horizontal position inside the biohazardous bag with the representative materials to be sterilized. Select appropriate cycle to process the load. Once the cycle is completed, allow the autoclave to decompress and cool down and remove the load from the autoclave and allow it to 
further cool down for 10 to 15 minutes retrieve the spore test samples from the load and incubate in adjacent microbiological incubator to temperature of 131 fahrenheit to 140 fahrenheit in degree celsius uh, 55 to 60 degree celsius for incubation take both ampules from the load that were in autoclave gently squeeze the plastic crusher to break the glass ampules and place those in the incubator take a third spore ampule labeled as control ampule which is not placed in the autoclave chamber proceed to break the glass ampules and also incubate this in the same incubator allow the incubation and verify all three spore ampules after 24 hours acceptance criteria for microbiological test examine the indicator ampules for any color change after 8 12 18 and 24 hours the presence of yellow color change indicates a failed test and positive bacterial growth no color change indicates passing test and proper sterilization of sample the control ampule should produce a yellow color change so these are the key qualification tests that are done for autoclaves in the pharmaceutical industry comment for the any doubt you have in this presentation please subscribe to channel for more informative videos and thank you for watching